Hello everyone, and welcome back to Star Trek Online. I'm your host, Eli Fatigued, along with my lovely wife, Starlight Bio. Hello. Alright, let us do this. Alright, some Krova. Oh no, the Subrova! <clears throat> so, the wolf now fights with its cub, then. No matter. All power to weapons. Hey, focus. Hit them where they're weak. Today is a good day to die. Well, good, because you're going to die. King on box. Duck, duck. <laughs> Wow. They say it's a good day to die, and then they retreat like cowards. We were on our way to check in on another Starfleet vessel when we received your distress signal. That vessel is still not responding to hails. Considering what happened to you, I'm beginning to fear the worst. I'm going to investigate, and I want you to join me. If the Klingons are up to no good in that system, I'll need backup. I know it's asking a lot, but we're at war. Consider this a field promotion, cadet. You have your orders. Hooray, we get stuck. This is nothing thing. This feels wrong, doesn't it? I mean, the captain just got killed by a House Mokai matriarch over something she thought we had on board. Shouldn't we be chasing her instead? Friends, the senior officer here, Tilly, we have our orders. <sighs> You're right. You're right. For all we know, Miss Ula could be behind what happened to that other <laughs> ship. We should help them. So I'll get back to the engineering captain. Okay. We are ready to go to work when you are. Just ready to go to work when we are. Um, I think that'll just take some second of space. Yeah, engage. <laughs> Wait, it's all going on? Always has been. <laughs> ah, the memes. Oh shoot, I thought we were just going out in sector space. But We've nope. arrived, Captain. Oh. I'm reading the Ticonderoga dead ahead. Our orders are to make contact with them and find out why they haven't responded to our hails. Alright, well, uh, I thought it was going to take us to sector space, but I was wrong. So I wait for Starlight Violets to get back and I put my new stick. Oh, wait, no, 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 not there. On, on the back. The aft weapon. And then my allied weapons. Ooh, wait, no, no, full auto ramp. Heck yeah. I like the faster firing weapons. Sure, the sniper does more damage, but it's so slow to fire. Um, okay, yeah, keep going. <laughs> and then, yeah, discard the standard issue stuff. Um, I mean, yeah, it's just standard issue stuff. Well, oh, I might keep those. For, uh, no, I get the ones to level up with me when I get my uh, prototype ship. Okay, do it. Still level one, and I'm waiting for Starlight Violets, but <clears throat> she's still gone. So anyway, I'm gonna continue. We, I think we're still. Uh... Oh, we can change instruments now. Actively, but I don't think we can do that in this mission. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, holy for Very good. Set a course for the Ticonderoga. Okay, he's off auto fire. <clears throat> Ian, can you boost the signal? On it. Compensating for local interference now. Hailing frequencies open, Captain. Ticonderoga, this is the Almirante. Please respond. Can't say I was expecting either of you out here. Care to fill me in? Let Captain Shrat explain the situation. We weren't able to contact you earlier. We were escorting these cadets back to the Soul System after they were ambushed by Klingons. Under the circumstances, I thought it wise to investigate your situation here. Continue. Apologies. I suspect the local anomalies are interfering with our comm systems. I'm sorry to ask this, but where is Captain Schaefer? I'll explain. That's quite the story, Cadet. The loss of Captain Schaefer is a blow. He was one of our best. I realize this is a trial by fire for all of you, 
You're doing well. Hang in there. Thank you, Captain. Starfleet has received reports of Klingon activity in the region. We've been ordered to check things out here. They might be hiding in the cluster and using this as a staging ground. As you can see, the area plays havoc with our systems. Indeed, I see. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the area. Is there anything we can do? We could use your help. If all three ships collect data, we should be able to complete this quickly and deal with any Klingons we might come across. Any questions? None. My crew is up to the task. Hmm. I can see why Schaefer picked you to be his XO. Don't let that confidence get the better of you. If you need help, ask for it. Starfleet needs each and every one of you. Understood. This may be the worst simple trip to Vulcan ever. <laughs> Bet you wish you were back at the Academy, huh, Tilly? Stand point up. Picking up large pockets of radiation. But there's something off in the readings. Not already. There's something off, you say. Scan point beta. Durant here. Are you seeing the same ETA radiation levels that we are? I'm okay. not sure that a normal scan will be enough. We might need to do a full multiphasic reading. So I found out how to turn off those notification things. I don't remember how I did it though. Ah, that's that's right. Here it is. I think it's the gameplay announcements. Yes, those are annoying as heck. Okay. <clears throat> science. I've determined that it is a problem with our sensors' tachyon settings. My science officer suggested the same thing, but it seems you're already aware of it. <laughs> Nicely done. We'll perform a tachyon pulse wave and see if that solves the issue. Report your findings once your final scan is complete. Understood. The deflector is realigned to emit a reverse tachyon pulse wave, Captain. Scan point gamma. Reading an impulse spike. Captain! Klingons! Torpedo! Get wrecked. Oh no, the Ticonderoga! They're under attack! We must get to them. Hey, did, did we just fight the Klingons again? Yes, and we survived! Ooh, that was lucky. Half the systems down here are bypassed <clears throat> like a Christmas tree, Captain. We can't take much more combat. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not a miracle worker. You're doing fine. Remember your training. We can do this. You got this, female Scotty. Ticonderoga is under attack! Use full impulse to reach her quickly. Yes, yes, yes. I'm on the way. On the way. Torpedo. There is only death for you here, Starfleet. There is only death for you here, Klingons. Multiple Klingon warp signatures inbound. Taking heavy fire here. Request immediate assistance. Yes, yes, we're helping. Don't worry. There's several of them. And that one's not wanting to die. And this is gonna hurt. Ooh, nope, we got away from it. Up you more Klingons? I don't know if we can handle more Klingons. Up you Remember your training. You are Starfleet officers. You're prepared for this. Indeed. Multiple Klingon ships decloaking! 
Uh, I don't know if we're prepared for that, though. That's, um... That's a lot. Why do I hear phaser fire but don't see any? That's weird. <laughs> oh, there we go. More of them inbound, Captain. You like our odds here. Yes, well, we're Starfleet officers. We keep fighting. Most likely for a more valuable target. <clears throat> Concentrate fire on the remaining vessel. Okay, we're fine. One battle cruiser. All ships. Nice shot, cadets. Indeed. We did well. like this fraud style. I think I know what the Klingons are up to here. We like the what They're using this system as a staging area. Something big is about to go on. Picking up a large number of inbound warp signatures. Their most likely target is the Corvan system. There's a dilithium mine there, one we can't afford to lose to the Klingons. What is the status of the Ticonderoga? The Ticonderoga was badly damaged and they took heavy casualties as well. Medical tells me Captain Durant was injured, but she'll recover in time. We're still working on triage and restoring the ship's critical systems. Which leads me to our next course of action. Yes? I want you to go to the Corvan system and warn them about the Klingons. What about you? The Sabrova is better equipped to hold off further Klingon attacks and assist the Ticonderoga here. We'll do what we can to delay them, but it'll be up to you to warn the people of Corvan. Understood. We'll set a course for Corvan. We have to make our way to Corvan as soon as we can, Captain. Corvan, I just okay. hope we're not too late to warn them. Are you ready to go? The pot system. Let us go. No. Red alert! All hands, battle stations! Oh, flip. This screwed. Oh, very screwed. Anything. Which one's the NAK? Sorry. One of my favorite jokes. It's one of my favorite dumb jokes, I should you say. You need to warn the Corvan <clears throat> colony about the Klingons. We'll do what we can to hold off the Klingons here and repair the Ticonderoga. Good luck. Continue. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Come on. Alright, can I? Yes. Switch stop ship. To plot a course and set your ship to automatically fly to it. Hey, 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 hey. Now aboard the You're USS Helicopter. Captain, I hope we get there in time. She, she's, she's definitely the female Scotty. I'm just saying. Um. All right. Let's see. Name for the ship. Oren had a good one earlier. Let me see if I can find it. Ah, the Tobran. Okay, not ship it. Oh, you can't change it in space. Okay. Whatever. Fair enough. <clears throat> I guess you have to get spaced off or something. Anyway, let us sign weapons to places. Oh, someone's got its R win. Stuff that levels with me. Turn on the things. Alright, I think we can start doing uh, co op stuff now. Yay! Alright, let me finish adjusting my weapon systems. <clears throat> Okay. 
Now I need to adjust the HUD. Since we've got more ship weapons. There we go. <clears throat> Alright. Crap, it's doing this. Uh, range. Stretch out. There we go. Hate that I have to do that, but whatever. Alright. Um, You're in the Lancelot, correct? Yes. Okay. I'm just adjusting all the things. Then I need... Where's my evasive maneuvers? <clears throat> okay. Sorry, I was just making sure I got everything set up and ready. Um... And have anything for my computer equipment? No. Okay. I think I'm good to go now. Sorry about that, everyone. <clears throat> I'm ready. And yes, there's to sell in the USS Lancelot. Let us not transwarp. Okay, so let us press M and click on the Corvan system to set a course. Okay. Light year behind you. Yeah, light year and a half, but yeah. I probably should have been doing that while we were traveling. It's fine. I'll eventually start remembering to do that. And by the time I do, we'll have transwarp capabilities. All right, begin, children of war. <clears throat> Looks like we got yeah. here before the Klingons, Captain. We should make the most of this advantage. What are your orders? We need to warn the colonists. I've managed to establish comms with the colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're going to get. Putting him through now. On screen. Hello, Captain. What can I do for you? A Klingon attack force is coming. You need to evacuate. Run there for me again. Your signal's breaking up. Did you say Klingons? The, what about them? The Klingons are coming, Chief. You have to evacuate. Ian, what just happened? We just lost contact with Corvan 2, Captain. Something's blocking all subspace signals in this area. There's a comm satellite nearby. <clears throat> it should boost our signal so we can warn the ships and the colony. Very well. The res, of course. The sat uses our security protocols. We should be able to access it. All right, looks like we're not able to do co-op missions just yet. Boost signal. Oh my gosh. I did that. I totally just did that. I went past the satellite. Oh my gosh, just turn please. Thank you. That's what I was trying to do. There we go. I was trying to stop it. But I failed. The hails are still blocked. <laughs> The Klingons may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Orders, Captain? Desmond, can we lock onto the colonists? Not from orbit, Captain. The Klingons <laughs> are disrupting transporter operations at the local level. Colonial evacuations on a mass scale could be... problematic. 
We may have to try to hold the Klingons here until Starfleet reinforcements arrive. Let's help however we can. Klingon forces inbound on an attack vector, Captain! Well, let's kick him in the face. Those civilians won't last long against Klingons. We need to help them. Now it's a waste of, tor waste of a torpedo, sadly. In the face, the freighters are warping out. All right, <clears throat> nice. Out. Captain, I have short range comms again. Long range signals are still blocked. I've updated the colony, however, the Klingons have started to send down attack squads. What are your orders? We'll do what we can to protect the colony. Um, what do we do? Captain, Game? There the we go. civilians are trying to fight the Klingon landing craft. That's. I think I can break through the Klingon jamming and hail the civilians. The same. It's up to you. <clears throat> wow, that's a lot of birds of prey. You guys Civilian might be screwed. Vessels. Disengage immediately. I repeat, disengage. Roger that, Starfleet. All ships, fall back. All civilian ships have safely warped out of the system, Captain. Nice. That's got good shield regen. What the heck? <laughs> don't even need. Don't even need to torpedo him again. Captain, the miners won't be able to hold off the Klingons for long. I'm reading more enemy ships on long-range sensors as well. It won't be long before the colony is overrun. I recommend we beam down to help the miners while we can. Oh goodness, Oren. Yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I need to end the episode here for future YouTube. Thank you all for joining us. Don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you've enjoyed any dimension of this episode. It really does help support the channel, and I do appreciate the support. I've been Eli of Teague, joined by my lovely wife, Starlight Violet. Hello. And goodbye. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.